That's the message right there. I promise you, you won't ever have to cry no more. No, no, no. It's been great. The name is Eddie. Marcos Sankezondi. Till then. Bye-bye. 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 I promise you, you won't ever have to cry no more. No, 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 no. Oh, goodness me. Tributes have been pouring in. For Radio Metro's Eddie Zonde, who passed away on Monday. His uh, memorial service will be held later today at the Standard Bank Arena in Johannesburg. Over the years, his radio show, The Romantic Repertoire, a show he hosted every Sunday afternoon on Metro FM, gained a huge audience. Well, joining us in studio now is uh, one of the legendary radio presenters, Ernest Pillay, as well as Happy and Giddy, Metro FM's uh, communications manager, and I've also got uh, DJ Mlu with us. Uh, welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you and for having us. Yeah. And I have, to, I have to say my condolences to you because it's, it's not an easy time. It's a horrible, horrible thing to have to go through, especially for such a young man. I mean, mm -hmm. when did you last see him, Ernest? How was he? Um, I, I saw him a couple of months ago, to, to be honest, Leanne, but uh, we were frequently in touch. I think yeah. the, the, the latter part of, of his time, we were speaking o over the phone almost every other time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, jovial, you know, he was, a, I was just saying, off air now. He, he had two personalities. You know, on air he had this persona that people have come to love, which we'll speak about, and many people have been speaking about uh, since his passing. But uh, off air, he was this jovial guy, so he, he always kept that spirit, you know, you, you wouldn't expect this to happen so yeah. suddenly. Yeah, it, 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 it happens to the least, the ones that you expect at you least, least suspect, that's the yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, uh, DJ Mlu, you your show is directly after um, yeah. uh, Eddie's show, so you saw him every week. Yeah, um, and, and how was he I mean, um, for you? You know what, he had this sense of consistency. Because for me, I came from listening to him on the radio yeah. and then having the opportunity to work with him. And there was always a sense of uh, consistency every time you arrive at the studio. Um, you were, couldn't tell whether he was having a good or bad day because he just had this energy. As uh, Ernest was saying, you know, he just had this thing where he, when he talks to you, it's like he's going to shake you. you know? <laughs> he had this, that yeah. positive energy. So he was always a great guy to, you know, to arrive at work, you know, too, in a way, because it doesn't matter if I was having a bad day. Mm -hmm. uh, when I arrived there, his energy would wear off on me. By the time I start my show, I'm in such a great mood. Oh, that's you know? <laughs> so Isn't that the, That's, that's, that's definitely, you know, the kind of personality yeah, that he was. That he and had. for me, uh, being one of the younger members of staff at the station, it was quite amazing to have someone who I've spent the last 18 years listening to on radio, actually making you feel like they're interested in who you are and, and who what you you're are about. What you so that's quite, that's, that's, that's something so that made you feel amazing. And you need Sunday. people like this in the industry. Yeah. Happy, I mean, you know, since the news came about, I mean, you've got a guy who's been at a station for 18 years. How long have you been there? I've been there for three years. For three years, yeah. he's been there yeah. 18 yeah. years. I mean, yeah. he is the station and what was it like when you heard this news I mean how has the staff reacted to this um, when I first heard the news um, I was in complete denial I never took it seriously at the time because as you can imagine it was all over social media yeah. uh, I was getting call, you know questions on social media asking me to confirm and but I, when I when I got a bit too much a lot of those questions coming in I started investigating and when it was confirmed by the family because uh, that's the route we took um, a complete state of shock. Um, I can't explain to you, you know, the impact it has had on 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 on, on his on, on our colleagues. Um, you know, uh, particularly the likes of Wilson Bingosi and Paul Tichaka, who have a very special working relationship with him. Yeah. Uh, but it's 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 you know it's a it, it's a huge. A huge, a loss. huge, huge loss. Now, I mean, if we can take um, our viewers back on a bit of a journey, he actually started at Metro FM as a weekend sports presenter mm. for the station. Mm. So, um, you, you've known him for many, many years. Will you tell us more about him and um, his love and passion for sports? We saw him wearing his Buccaneers shirt there. Exactly. He was, he was a, a diehard Buccaneers fan, yeah. Orlando Pirates. Uh, I was talking to Romeo. Uh, who actually handed the baton over to, to Eddie Zondi because he was doing he did the that show. romantic repertoire and, uh, and uh, he handed it over to, to Eddie Zondi and one of the things that uh, he remembers as we even heard from many people including uh, Dr. Ivan Corza, uh, chairman of uh, Orlando Pirates, he was a big fan 
and uh, you can imagine how he would have relished even on air with, uh, with the World Cup underway right now. So you're right, I met him back then in the early 90s, we literally received him because even back then we had two camps if you like, the older Metro guys and the younger guys and yeah. I was in the group of the younger guys, your evidence camps, uh, the late evidence camp, Quincy Kekane, Romeo Kubalo as well and, and, and others. So we, he navigated towards us because he was of the younger generation, we literally received him, showed him around, showed him the ropes and uh, he was always willing to to come down and ask questions and, and, and learn from those who were there before. Yeah. But a dedicated broadcaster, and make no mistake, never missed a day wow. on any given Sunday. Here's one thing that his listeners knew, Eddie Zondi will be there to soothe the broken hearted, <laughs> uh, to, to rekindle love relationships that are on, oh, almost on the wrong. Yeah, yeah. uh, you know, Things and, happen on a Saturday night. You needed that love show on a exactly. Sunday Exactly. But he also gave hope to those who were in search of love. Yeah. That, uh, you know, somewhere out there you will find love and uh, he what, managed to do that. But what made him so popular, Happy? I mean, to, to be on air for 18 years, is a, it's, a, it's a huge achievement. It doesn't matter who you are. And we know, being in this industry, that, you know, you... Turnover is high, but to stay there for 18 years, what did viewers, I mean, listeners, I should say, what, what did listeners love about him? He won the hearts of his audiences over a period of time. Yeah. Uh, and like Ennis has said, he was a reliable guy. You know, he had an appointment with his listeners every Sunday without fail. He's one of the guys that you would, um, re you know, uh, not often get a request from asking for somebody to stand in for him. Yeah. So whatever happened in his life, he ensured that he showed up for his work, you know. And he did, he, he did his work with, he's a professional, uh, did his work with humility and, and the respect that it, that, that, you know, that it deserves and respected his audience as well. Yeah. You know, he was a kind of guy who, 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 wouldn't, who took it seriously that he had a, an appointment with his audiences on yes. a weekly basis and, and he, he had to there. show up. Yeah. He had to show, to oh, show up, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Now, besides besides his, his his music show, I mean, he also he brought up those those compilation CDs that we were having a look at, and and they were hugely popular as well. Um, it just for for a closing note on your side, it, yeah. you're a young upcoming DJ. Um, what what did you take from him? What's the biggest lesson that you learned from Eddie Zondi? Well, as a professional, um, I think. You know, his approach to broadcasting is something that was quite inspirational. I mean, when you arrive at the studios or at work, you thought twice about walking into his studio when he's working because you could peek through the window, you could see his focus, you could see his passion, you could see how committed he was to his craft. So as a professional, a lot of, uh, I think, young broadcasters, we kind of just take it for granted sometimes. We wing it and hope for the best. Yeah. But he was very focused. He knew exactly what he wanted to say. He knew exactly what he wanted to do when yeah. he was in the studio, which was yeah. quite great to see. Yeah. From a personal level, he was quite, you know, he's inspirational. He always had this line. It didn't matter what he was, we were talking about, whether it was pirates losing a game. What can we do, Mlu? We must carry on. <laughs> After everything, it didn't matter what we talked about. So yeah. that's quite a quote that uh, I've adopted that's quite inspiring. It doesn't matter yeah. how bad your day is. Well, I suppose mm. that, that can sums we do? it all up. What can on. we do? We need yeah. to carry on. Um, Happy, just give us some details because I know that the, um, the memorial, do you want to? You don't have to if you don't want to because I know this feeling. No, it's all right. Are oh, you okay? Yeah. All right. Um, the memorial service and the funeral, can you give us some details? Yes, the memorial service is today at okay. the Senate Bank Arena. Yeah. It starts at 11 o'clock okay. uh, to 3. 11 to 3. 11 to 3. Right. And the, um, um, the funeral is on Sunday at the UJ campus in Soweto. Uh, the service starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and the procession leads for the West Park Cemetery at 12. 12 yeah. o'clock. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And also just to mention that outside the studio, um, the Metro FM studio, there's a wall of remembrance there, you know, for his fans and friends and everybody that like to come in and pay their respects and bring flowers and cards and all that. They're very welcome to do that from yesterday to Saturday. All right. All the best for today. Thank it's you not going to be an easy day. And um, just uh, send our love to his family and uh, to his friends and his colleagues as well. And of course, his fans, his legions of fans out there that loved listening to Eddie Zonde, who is unfortunately no longer. Let's take a break. We'll see you after this. Stay tuned.